Good morning. morning. From Adelaide. We've just come off of an overnight bus from Alice Springs and we picked up our rental car. We are now going to book it six and a half hours to Port Ferry, which will be our first stop. Trip a long day, a long day! solid driving we have managed to make it to Port Ferry and to start our time here in this part of the country we are starting off at Griffiths Island where apparently there's some nature to be seen <laughs> We didn't want to say anything before we started this walk because we didn't know if it would happen but the reason we came here was to see wallabies and we've seen like at least seven they're just in the wild here it's completely free we've barely walked a kilometer from the car and there's just so many of them 
it's amazing because as you go through the walk you see a bunch of like quite tall looking bushes and it turns out that the wallabies actually use these as their dens to kind of hang out during the day and then sort of during the dawn and as the sun's starting to set then that's when they're active and they're trying to get food and so we've managed to hit it at just about the right time. We've seen them feeding, we've seen a mother nursing her mm. joey, we've seen them kind of like hopping along. One of them was right by the path eating and didn't even seem shy which is shocking but yeah, as long as you keep quiet and you don't encroach too much, then you're welcome to just observe them and they'll go about their daily lives. It's incredible. I can't believe we've now seen a wallaby in the wild in Australia. This is our first animal that we've truly seen here mm -hmm. in nature as opposed to behind some kind of fence. Or off a bus. Exactly makes the drive here definitely seem worth it. But now we are going to head back the other way around the island to get back to the car so we can finally check in to our Airbnb. When we got to the lighthouse, we thought that was kind of the end of the walk because we were advised that from the parking lot we should turn left, which we did, walk around to the lighthouse, you'll see some wallabies. But we realized that this is actually a circular bush walk, so we just continued on. And let me tell you, the scenery got better. You get closer to the ocean and you get to see more beaches, and to top it off, very close to the end, we even saw more wallabies. Yeah, there was a big thicket of bushes that all seemed to be full of dens. And from there, you could just see a bunch of wallabies like foraging, bouncing around. And we got so close to one. It was just minding its own business. We were minding our business. We were just happy to observe from about three meters away from this absolutely magnificent creature. So basically, I don't think it matters which way you go because you'll see wallabies on both sides and definitely do the full circle. It took us about an hour total to do and that was really... With a lot of photo stops. Yeah, we were taking it easy, but how incredible was this? This was so worth the drive. I can't believe it. We've been to some truly iconic places in Australia and yet somehow everywhere we go it just keeps getting better. I don't understand how this country does it. Yeah every day is the best day ever. Truly. And this was free like it's just a walk that you do here in Port Ferry. Yeah like you saw people just going on runs, on bike rides, all of that kind of stuff without a care in the world and they're just going straight past these incredible creatures and just amazing wildlife. This was their normal life, just picnicking at the beach, going for a swim, surfing. Australians don't know how good they have it. 
But anyway, today we are finally, for real this time, going to go to our Airbnb in Warrnambool. I think that's how you pronounce it. Sorry, Australia. Still trying to get the hang of it. But yeah, it should be about a half hour drive away, so let's head. We have finally made it to our Airbnb, but before we go today, I just kind of wanted to say how happy I am with how we chose to travel through Australia so far. We've been doing obviously all coach buses until today when we picked up the rental car, but I truly feel that it's enabled us to see so much of this country that we wouldn't have if we had flown. Absolutely. I mean, we started yesterday off in Alice Springs. We drove through the outback, woke up in the desert still, and then found our way through to Adelaide, which seems to be a beautiful city. And then from there, we managed to take a lot of roads through farmland and wine country and just stunning rolling hills and forest as well, all the way down to this glorious looking coastline. I don't think you can get much better than that. I think we may have said this before, but Australia seems to just be the country that keeps on giving. I can't wait to continue our drive along the Great Ocean Road tomorrow. Me neither but we will definitely look forward to it. Until next time though, take care. And keep smiling.